Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday, June 21st. It is the longest day of the year. Um, here, once again in Nazareth, uh, in front of the Basilica of the Annunciation. Uh, I'm filming this on Monday night, but on Tuesday we celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. It might sound familiar to those of you who like uh, college basketball as Gonzaga University, Catholic University, has done very well for itself. A little recap of Monday here in Israel. Uh, we got up at 6.15. So I don't, I don't say that to scare you, but for those who are coming, just to let you know, we, it's not a, uh, just a leisurely vacation, but we want to take advantage of the time that we have here. So 6.15, wake up call, uh, and then we could do breakfast until 7.30, 7.45 on the bus. And then we headed over to uh, the Mount of the Beatitudes. And there's individual videos for each of these places where, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus preached the Sermon on the Mount. And then we went uh, down the road and everything we did was around the Sea of Galilee today. Then we went to the Church of the Loaves and Fishes where Jesus multiplied five loaves and two fishes and fed 5,000 men plus so many others probably. And then uh, we walked over to the place where uh, after the resurrection, you know, Jesus said, Peter, do you love me on the, on the seashore? And he made a charcoal fire bringing Peter back to that charcoal fire that he denied Christ by, by the Praetorium, but this time to heal Peter. It's also where he had the primacy of, of Peter. Then we had lunch, had some fish and chicken and uh, some veggies uh, in Magdala. It sounds familiar maybe to you, that Mary, the home of Mary Magdalene. Uh, and if the, there's a beautiful church there in honor of the women uh, of the church. And many of the women said they felt so validated after going there. We had Father Eamon Kelly, an Irish uh, priest who gave us a tour and really uh, brought many of us to tears talking about the beauty and dignity of the women who have gone before us. And uh, you know, some of the women kind of shared that they never felt worthy or never felt like they were beloved daughters of God and that really solidified that um, that they are loved by God they're loved by the church then we went on this beautiful boat ride on the Sea of Galilee and then saw a boat that was uncovered in the Sea of Galilee that's 2,000 years old if not the one of the uh, apostles and Jesus one very similar to what they uh, might have ridden in tomorrow we're going to go to tomorrow being Tuesday, uh, Mount Tabor and the Church of the Transfiguration and other uh, sites we're going to see in that area. Briefly, the, the gospel for Tuesday, Jesus says, do not give what is holy to dogs. And I was thinking about that, if, you know, do we treat our body and soul uh, in the dignity that they deserve, that both are gifts from God? And, uh, or do we are we careless about what we ingest, by what we eat, what, why watch, what we watch on TV or the internet? You know, when we are serious about a diet, we're very careful about what we put into our body. Think about that spiritually. Are we careful about what we're reading and watching? Um, to know that your soul is a treasure and that you are a beloved child of God, uh, worth the dignity and care uh, that it deserves. And then Jesus goes on to say that the gate is wide that leads to destruction. Enter through the narrow gate. In other words, there's a, a popular belief today, well, it doesn't matter what I do, everybody's going to heaven. And, or some people say they don't believe in heaven or hell. Um, but we believe that there is a heaven, there is a hell. And Jesus says, you know, there's a lot of people who are going to destruction. And so to strive for holiness, none of us are going to be perfect. You know, Jesus says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Be the best you that you can be. And, uh, and so that, that requires prayer, scripture, the sacraments, surrendering our will to the will of the father. So let's strive to enter through the narrow gate. Let us care for our bodies and souls uh, as the treasure that they are from God. And let us seek to be holy, seek to be saints. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We thank you for, for calling us to be holy, for raising the bar for us. 
Give us the courage, the strength, the grace that we need to be the best version of ourselves. And let us not give to our body and soul what is not holy. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share this video with at least one person today. And to you and to all your family, buen camino.